As the capabilities of AI keep improving, it's being deployed in more and more ways. In some applications, AI has been used for quite some time, but in others, it remains relatively new. Security is one of the more mature types of deployment. For humans, security typically requires remaining constantly alert, even though nothing might happen for long stretches. Instead of having a security guard devote most of his or her attention to staring at surveillance monitors, why not let an AI that detects unusual activity do it? The technology would never fail to alert humans when it detects unusual patterns, suggesting intruders on a private property, a purse snatcher, or a brawl breaking out at a street corner. In healthcare, AI applications are multiplying. For instance, the image and pattern recognition capabilities of AI assist doctors in rapidly analyzing patients' X-rays and MRI scans. Another possible use is speech-based AI that quickly locates medical records or recommends medicines based on a patient's symptoms or diagnosis. At home, an AI combining speech recognition and language processing can adjust the temperature or turn the lights on in a room when commanded. And an AI paired with the TV can be set to recognize individual residents and recommend shows based on their viewing patterns. Smart retail is an emerging application with lots of potential. It not only helps to keep shelves constantly stocked, but also enhances the whole consumer experience. A real-world example is Amazon's Go supermarket. Members scan their app when they come in, and AI-enabled cameras in the store keep track of what they buy or put back on the shelves. When they're done, shoppers simply leave with their items without stopping at a checkout. Payment is deducted from their account automatically. Autonomous driving will eventually become one of the main end uses of AI. SAE International, a standard-setting organization based in Pittsburgh, USA, has defined six levels of driving automation. Level zero indicates a car that needs a human operator in control at all times. At level four, a car is considered to be self-driving, but still needs a human to oversee what's happening. Level five cars aren't on the market yet. It refers to cars that drive as well or better than humans and are so autonomous they don't even have steering wheels or acceleration pedals. The development of level five self-driving cars would take us much closer to stronger AI. For now, we're only partly there. We can make machines and devices with perceptual intelligence, meaning that they can listen and see, and then take simple actions or judgments based on those perceptual inputs. But we have not been able to make cognitively intelligent machines that can make judgments or are self-aware. AI is expected to change many industries in the near future, including several we don't think can be changed. We're still a few years away from cars without steering wheels. But AI in legal services or special needs education, that's already happening. We're done with this part. In the next section, we'll look at some of the controversies surrounding AI.